Hello and welcome to Little Internet Superstar, the single urinal version of my 50-man stadium trough of a talk show that airs every Wednesday right here on Revision 3. To me, a really good, satisfying pee has less to do with the contents of my bladder than the quality of the urinary receptacle. But sadly, many Americans dismiss urinals as nothing more than a pot to piss in and maybe to wash up in afterwards. Not as individual art forms. But for more aesthetically oriented pissers like me, there's a classic site on internet called urinal.net. A celebration of the male pee toilet, this online museum collects thousands of photos of urinals submitted by guys like me from around the world, conveniently grouping them into dozens of categories such as tourist attractions and sporting venues. One of the handiest sections of the site is the top 10 urinals of the world list, representing the gold standard of gold, well you know. Coming in at number three is a collection of urinals by artist Clark Sorensen, which were displayed in a San Francisco art gallery in 2005. Just gorgeous. Like that birthday cake that almost is too beautiful to eat. These are almost too, well, again, you know. Coming in at number two, it'd be a sin to drop a deuce in these royal looking urinals at the Taj Mahal. They make it a pleasure to go to the Vindaloo. Zing! And the number one place to go number one, the most remote urinal in the world, the urinal at the Admonson Scott South Pole Station. No need to put ice in that one to keep it fresh. To the two women watching, yes, they actually do put ice in those things. Hey, if you have a nomination for an internet superstar, why don't you send it to martin at revision3.com. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the men's room. I promise I won't look. See you tomorrow for more internet superstar.